The name Heath Slocum may ring a bell to golf fans. That's because he's won four PGA Tour titles. Heath Slocum survives to become the first winner of the McGladry Classic. But he's barely been sighted on the fairways of the big show in recent years, having been struck down with a rare disease that's put his career on hold for a second time. The Louisiana-born pro is now trying to earn his way back to the big time, bypassing the PGA Tour's lifeline, the major medical exemption, as he tries to reignite his career. There are currently 10 golfers playing on a major medical exemption, the PGA Tour's avenue for injured golfers. But Slocum is again toughing it out. The thing is they give you, if, you, if you're unable to play, if you have a medical reason, they will give you um, a year off, basically, or however many tournaments you would have gotten in for the following year. Unfortunately, I should have taken one, but I tried to, to play through it. You know, I'm pretty hard-headed sometimes, and I didn't do it successfully, so I ended up losing my card I'm trying to play through some health issues. But um, at the end of the day, I'm feeling good these days and, and looking forward to the challenge of getting back. While most golfing injuries are shoulder, wrist or back related, Slocum's injury was more excruciating. So I have ulcerative colitis, which is uh, inflammation of the colon. Um, and it's a disease, I'll always have it, but um, it flared up in 1997 through 99. Then I went all the way till about 2014 without any flare-ups at all, and then I had one and I just never could quite shake it. So it was difficult trying to play golf with cramps in your stomach all the time, having to look for a restroom, just really uncomfortable. And then even impacts the way you, you know, I have two young girls that, you know, they're wanting to go out and do things like they've always done, and I'm just like, eh, you know, maybe not today. And when you're playing against the world's best, you need full attention on the golf, and I, I, I couldn't give it. That Slocum has had to put his career on hold twice due to the disease is all the more frustrating, given that golf has been a way of life from the day he was born, through to his high school years, alongside fellow future PGA stars. My dad uh, was a club professional, so I grew up on a golf course. When I was first born, he was an assistant at a really dumpy club, and he went from another one, and uh, finally he just worked his way to a head pro, and so that's where I grew up. I grew up with a club in my hand and, and playing golf. And when I moved to Florida, Boo Weekly, uh, Bubba Watson. There was just a, an influx of talent in this little area, and they played, they practiced, and it was just good fun for me because I'd always had to play with the guys, you know, never with anybody my age. And it was nice. So when I moved to Florida, I got to play year round with friends. Bubba was probably taller than me even back when, when I was in high school and he was in eighth grade, but he was an incredible talent. He was always fun to play with. Between those two's personality, you know, I, I kind of was the more quiet introvert, but, you know, and it was hard to get a word in edgewise with them anyway, so it worked out perfectly. Slocum's friendship with the charismatic Boo Weekly went from their Milton High School in Florida all the way to a runner-up finish at the 2007 World Cup of Golf. He really is more my brother. I mean, he's obviously a friend, but we'll go months without even talking, and then, like, we'll, as soon as we see each other, it's right back to the same conversation I think we were we left off on. But he is, he's one of my closest friends, and we leaned on each other a lot, you know, when we first got on tour. And he leaned on me when he was just turning pro, and then I leaned back on him when I got sick, and it helped me become, you know, the player I am today. Having battled back from the debilitating disease once to rise to the top of the tour, Slocum aims to do it once again with the limited starts through sponsors' invites. The 43-year-old hopes to get back to the heights of winning the 2009 Barclays, where he again showed his fighting spirit, this time inside the ropes. He falls him! Wow! Knocks out the ace! That was my biggest win, and I know that I made a 21-footer on the last hole to, to miss a playoff with, uh, let's see, Tiger, Ernie, Podrick, and Stricker. A couple weeks later, the commissioner came up to me and says, you know, I mean, thanks for ruining, like, the best playoff ever in prime time. And I was like, well, you know, <laughs> I didn't want to be in it. Catch Holden Golf World, Thursdays and Saturdays.